Hello, my name is Ikello Herod, and this is the Future Fiction Factory, and we're doing a really quick tip today, like a really quick one. I just got out of a very enlightening meeting with a bunch of authors doing the whole pseudo write thing, and it's a it was very enlightening and fun and, and, and insightful. And so I'm going to be bringing some of those tips to you later on. But before I do that, I'm going to bring a really, really quick one to you right now. As you can see, we're on Story Engine. And it's very, very cool, Story Engine. If you haven't heard about it, I've at least made two videos on it, so definitely check those videos out. As a matter of fact, if I can, I'll put them up in the right there, right up there, so that you can get to it. Here it is. I've been working on a new spy novel, not a, really a spy novel, a a Carter policeman who has the propensity for getting itself into things that have national consequences. How about that? And in this new piece, I don't know anything about writing a mystery, spy thrillery sort of thing like that, but PseudoWrite does. And the age of AI and way, the way it's changed everything, completely, com it's completely engulfed how I create. Story Engine is one of those things that really catapults you into the next level. I have a idea, and I actually went over it with my mother-in-law. Sadly, very shortly before she passed away, we kind of hatched out all of these wonderful ideas about who Blake was and what his name going to be and that sort of thing. And in hashing all of that stuff out, I realized that I want to write this. I really want to write this. And the only way that I would have been able to do that is through pseudo right? So, or Claude or ChatGPT, but it's really more like wrestling a tiger. I've told people, I told people about that today. It's like wrestling a tiger. So here's the tip. The tip is that when you put your brain dump in and get your genre straight and do your style, and then you get your synopsis popped out, and then you start working on that, and remember, you have to be specific. That's a big thing. You have to be specific with your story and your synopsis. And then when you get to your chapter, your, after you do your characters and write your chapters, because you could do chapters from pseudo write but it only writes 12 for you and i like a lot of chapters and so i built in all of my own chapters and it gives you up to 1700 words to write these chapters so i'm just telling you you have a lot of leeway and then you write chapter one let's go over right here the the prose that that i wrote uh, that i wrote with the help of ai the dimly lit black <laughs> black <laughs> the dimly lit back room of the jewelry store cast of the store owner's face as he sat across from detective oliver blake dusty motes floated lazily through the air dancing in the slithers of light that pierced the gloom can you think of any one who might have had a motive oliver asked his voice slow and measured, but laden with insight. Now, you get to the end, and it says right here, as a matter of fact, at the end of this chapter, this beat, so it's doing the beats in two strides, one and two together. And at the end of those beats, it says, and so with the mystery of the jewelry store robbery unresolved and a new urgency driving him, Detective Oliver Blake strode purposefully through the streets of Cardiff, <laughs> each step bringing him closer to untangling the web that had sp he had spun around him. This is the first chapter. There is no spun web. There's nothing going on right yet. I don't know why it said this, but since it did, we have to correct it. So I think that maybe you should take the whole thing out. Why? Because as it continues on, it reads backwards and forwards in the chapter. So that's why you have the ability to stop 
the pros between each beat. This gives you the opportunity to edit what you've seen already and gives you the opportunity to give the AI the best possibility to write what you want it to write as you move into the chapter. So erase that crap and then write in something new. Let's see, what do I want to write? Why would the sergeant call Blake into the station in the middle of an investigation? Question mark. It must have been one hell of a left turn for them to call a detective investigator third grade back for anything, period, and seen. That's it. You write that. And just so you know, I use dictation because I often try to write and I get a little confused on exactly what I'm writing. I mean, I actually have to say things out loud sometimes. So dictation is my friend. And with that said, I have completely reworked the end of it so that when I hit the button right here that says best prose or whatever I want to write, whether it be most accurate or best prose, which is a whole video on itself on why we're going to talk about why you should write best prose or why you should write in the most accurate. That's an entirely new video that I have to make. But before I get to that one, this one is the key. If you get to the end of each one of these sections, which we're calling beats, as you get to the end of each section, make sure that you rework everything in it because it reads all the way up to like 500 words back in itself so that it can continue to like figure out what the story is as you move forward. And that's that for that. Ladies and gentlemen, I probably stood down here and looked at my screen the whole time because I was, I'm not used to having this new camera set up. Thank you for tuning in. This has been the Future Fiction Factory, where we make the future come to life right now with artificial intelligence, supercharging your IP and your stories for a better tomorrow. My name is Ikello Harrod. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I hope that you tune in very soon to the future, y'all. See you in the next video.